Great to have you back with us on the cafe. Actress Amanda Billing, best known for her role as Dr. Potts on Shortland Street, amongst others, has joined forces with Bodonga, Phlox, Dick Frizzell, and several other Kiwi artists to design a chair to be auctioned and raise awareness and funds for Bowel Cancer New Zealand. Amanda, it is great to have you with us on the cafe. Thank you very much. Really wonderful to have you here. Now, you've got a personal reason to get involved, haven't you, with Bowel Cancer Awareness Month? Yeah, but it's not the reason why I got involved initially. I got involved initially because my friend, Samantha Jukes, uh, who's on the board of Bowel Cancer New Zealand, asked me if I would pimp a chair because she knows that I'm crafty, <laughs> and um, or arty anyway, and I said yes, and um, without even really knowing a lot about the cause itself, but of course for me it, it did, it does, it does go close to my heart because a friend of mine died last year from bowel cancer. Mm -hmm. And he was very, he was young, he was in his, in his mid-30s, so. So this is a great way to, you know, not only for you learn about what people go through, but yep. raise awareness. And I also know you're very competitive as well. <laughs> competitive. <laughs> you are. I know, but I also have an inferiority complex, so that makes it okay, right? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, don't want to win or anything. Don't want to get the most money for but this chair or anything. I totally want to guys, win and get the most you know, money. Because it's not a competition, right? <laughs> See, the thing about bowel cancer, too, is that it's it's not a glamorous cancer. I mean, no cancer is glamorous. I know that's no, obviously. Know but it's not a glamorous cancer. I mean, but it has a very high... New Zealanders die from it. A lot of New Zealanders die. Is it, did I read this? Is this correct? You might be able to know this. That the same amount of people die from bowel cancer per year, like about 1,200 in New Zealand. Yes. It's the same as breast cancer and prostate cancer combined yes. in New Zealand? Yes. I and was really surprised by that stat. Yeah, and someone, I mean, if you do some basic mathematics, it, it, um, something that really hits home is that it's three people every day. Wow. Okay. Right? Yeah. And... Um, the reasons why it's that isn't well known, um, I don't know, other, 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 I guess, cancer causes, you know, if we can talk about it in mm -hmm. those terms, have, um, they've been going for a long time. Like, you think about breast cancer, for example, yep. that their campaign has been, they've been putting in the hard yards for years and years and years, yeah, and, and now mm -hmm. lots of women know to check their boobs, you know, yeah. like breast exams are things that people talk about, but, um... So I think that there's that aspect to it that, that bowel cancer New Zealand just hasn't, for whatever reason, um, had this sort of engine, PR engine or... I think they're getting I that. don't know, there's something, yeah, I think that, and this is all part of it, right? You're right, it is. It's really important that that happens. But also, people don't really know what the symptoms of bowel cancer are. I think it's also um, territory, medical territory, that people uh, don't really want to... Um, they don't discuss. want to face, they, no, don't, they don't want to discuss. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I think, and, and, that's, and that's completely fair enough, I guess. Yeah. No, you know, we should discuss things. If they're going to save a life, then we, th we should be discussing yeah. things. So what are some of the symptoms that we should be looking out for? Okay, well, I mean, who, uh, I guess you should just be checking your poo. Yeah. Start. <laughs> okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing Hands wrong up, with people that. who do check their poo. I think, yeah, everybody in the room. Yeah. Right. Nice. Oh, that's good, good, good. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> so, I mean, if you spot blood in, 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 in your poo, then obviously that's an issue. Mm. That's something mm. to see and think of. This is not, that's not normal. Right. And if it happens over a period of time, like, I mean, maybe once or twice, I mean, who knows, it could just be something yeah. local that's going on. But if that's an ongoing thing, you've got to go to the doctor. Right. You have to talk to your loved ones about it. And the tiredness thing is something as well, isn't it? If you're just constantly tired. Yes, and but there are there are these symptoms that look like other things as well. That look like stress and fatigue. So and tummy so, or a bit of a you know pain down. Yeah. Mm. Those things are related to just modern life really and people I think people probably uh, dismiss them as just, you know, I'm busy at the moment or I'm tired or I've had a lot on or, you know, whatever. And, and they're also difficult to diagnose. But one of the things I think that, that catches it is a pelvic exam. And, you know, we don't, I, I mean, I don't, I don't examine my <laughs> pelvis. But I, try to, I try not to uh, Google myself too. I would Google internet not to Google. myself too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there are things. So if you've got any concerns, you can check out the website, but also go to the doctor. Now tell us about these chairs yeah. that are in with you. What's the story here? Well, um, I didn't 
Let's take a look at your one. Yeah, yeah let's look at my one. Yes, this is the one we all should be bidding on, I no, think. Bid on them all, because they're all just beautiful. Oh, well, I want you to They're win. really beautiful. I love your Stormtrooper there. You, yeah, you're, it's fun, eh? It's absolutely gorgeous. Did you actually stitch that? Yes, I did. No way. Yes, anyone? Yeah, I had no idea how long tapestry takes. A long time. It takes a long time. So um, were you given that wooden chair and just told to pimp it out? Is that yes, how it yes. And so I started with with Gary, because I thought, well, I'm going to make this Gary's chair. Nice. And Gary had a hole in the head about um, science fiction. Okay. Incidentally, I watched series one, two, and three of Battlestar Galactica <laughs> while I was doing this, because oh, it's the only thing that kept me awake um, late into the night. Um, but he loved Star Wars, and I asked his wife, Kate, what his favorite character was. She said all of them. Yeah. But she... Um, She'd bought him a Stormtrooper onesie, which he wore a bit when he was really sick. And wow. he also had a, um, a Star Wars duvet cover that had Stormtroopers on it. And he was into Star Wars Lego. The whole family would get together when, he was, when, when things were really um, coming to a close for him. They, they all got together and made these incredible Lego things. And, and so I thought, OK, Stormtrooper. I've, I've thought about all of the other things that I kind of like doing, like crafty things. I was a cross-stitch girl when I was about 10 or 11. Uh, yeah, that surprises me. Well, I think <laughs> it? I'm glad it surprises me. You know, a a cross-stitch is cool. Job, an absolutely beautiful job, and I think yeah. Gary will be very proud of it. Yeah. And if you want to uh, bid on these chairs, uh, these chairs are going to be auctioned off on trade until the June the 12th. And if you want more information, head along to artchairs.org. Co.nz. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in and sharing your story and your fancy little stitching there. That is very impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, and remember, <laughs> yep. don't sit on your symptoms. That's the takeaway from this. Amanda, yes, check you your so poo. Much. Just check your poo. All right, Mike. Can I do it a bit later, though? I've got something else to do over here. Not that. <laughs>